through the good times and the bad. Even when life overwhelmed us, you always gave us hope. You took care of us despite your ailing condition and your pain. We have had your love and your understanding. For you are a gentleman at heart. Dad, you are one in a million. Apostle. Mm -hmm. Good. Hey, that too. Oh, talk a brilliant and no. Yeah, can listen. Mother, dear God, sure. Amen. Okay. Don't me a canila. I'm more colored than you. You never said I am leaving. You never said goodbye. You are gone before we knew it, and only God knows why. A million times we needed we needed you. A million times we cried. If love alone could have saved you, you never would have died. In life, we love you dearly. In death, we love you still. In our hearts, you hold a place that no one could ever feel. It breaks our heart to lose you, but you didn't go alone. For part, for part of us went with you. The day God called you home, forever in our hearts, Mom. Thank you so much, your name tribute ya kanita.
dedicated to our dad, Apostle John Paul. To my father, my friend, you have been a great dad to us through the good times and the bad. Even when life overwhelmed us, you always gave us hope. You took care of us despite your ailing condition and your pain. We have had your love and your understanding. For you are a gentleman at heart. Dad, you are running a million. A day dawned like no other when you broke the news about your health condition. The doctor's report said that you had cancer and multiple organ complications. We were devastated and heartbroken, but you stood firm in faith and said, It is written, we shall get sick but not die, we shall pass through fire but not get burned. That is the, doc the doctor's report, let us wait upon the Lord. Dad, when all hope seemed to be gone, you always forced a smile on your face to give us hope for tomorrow. You even called us when you were in your hospital bed just to encourage us. You never gave up despite the pain and agony that you were going through. You gave us the strength to carry on. Dad, you are a precious gift from God above. <laughs> Congregation, you are more than a parent. You have carried us on your shoulders despite the challenges we went through. You have lived like Jesus. Some have persecuted you, some have mocked you, and some have crucified you. <clears throat> and others abandoned you when you needed them most. But you forgave them all, and you are always on your knees praying for them. If the Bible was to be written once more, you would have a chapter to tell your story, for it is an inspiration to all. You challenged even the devil, for you never missed a someone. You used to come with drips and injections, and doctors would rush to treat you after the service. Your love for God and the church is amazing. Dad, as I stand here today, I want the world to know that you serve the living God. He heard you cry and saw your suffering. He promised to heal you despite the doctor's negative reports. His mercy is beyond our imagination. Jehovah is faithful, and you are healed in Jesus' name. Today, as we lay our grandma to rest, we thank God for healing you and to our online family who have supported our dad tirelessly. May you never lack. May God give you new files too. May God bless you abundantly. Dad, our slogan reads, forward ever, backward never. Amen. Amen.